Matt Pinfield here, your host for the next 120 minutes on MTV. We've got a great show for you tonight. We do every week, but tonight, once again, we have a great show. Because in a few minutes, the band Republica will be here and talk with us and show us their brand new video for the song Drop Dead Gorgeous. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm Matt Pinfield. With me now are Saffron, Tim, and Toddy of Republica. It's good to have you here. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Yeah, I'm really excited about the way the album's doing and, and the single ready to go as well. Now, we're actually going to show the new video right away, so let's talk a little bit about that, and then we'll come back and talk more about the band. I want to get into the history and making of the record and everything. But uh, tell me a bit about the new video for Drop Dead Gorgeous. Um, well, we did it um, just before we came out on tour here, and uh, it was this, with the same director that did the Ready to Go video, Michael Gagan, who all the band get on with really well. He's sort of the first director we felt that worked with the whole band and um, got into it from a musical level as well as a filmic level. And um, it's a silver expanding room, and um, it's just all of us dressed in black he's and chrome. He's got a bald head as well. And he's got a bald head, yeah. Does he? Yeah. 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 Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. We're like the bookends over here. Right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. The lids are rocking, but it's good. Anyway, I'm psyched about this, so you were really comfortable to work with him again then? Yeah. He's great. He tells you everything that's going on and really explains it in terms you can like, understand for once instead of using sort of flowery video language, which some of the people we worked with before have done. Yeah, who did you get turned on to him by? Who was he, was he working with someone before, did some videos that you were really fond of? Or we just got sent his real? tape, that was all. Who was on that, do you remember? I, I can't remember. But there was one video, I remember on there, which was the Simply Red Roller, um, the one with Fairground. the Roller Fairgrounds. Fairground. Right. And, um, I mean, you know, for whatever Simply Red, I mean, the video itself was great, and it really fitted to the music and right. the song and stuff. So you thought he really just, captured that. Yeah, yeah, and he was just really into the music. The, yeah. the first things he mentioned was music rather than... Yeah. This is what I'm going to do. Right. Like, in other words, your feedback was important to him. That's yeah. really cool. That's yeah. important. Right now, we're going to play their brand new video from their self titled debut album. This is Republica with Drop Dead Gorgeous. On tour with Real Big Fish doing that double ska thing. I'm Matt Pinfield. I'm here with Saffron Toddy and Tim of Republica. Now, let's talk about how you all came together because you have all interesting backgrounds, actually. You did some vocal stuff with The Shaman and, uh, you know, you were in Enjoy, who had mm -hmm. some really cool records out, dance records out as well. Yeah, um, I also did some stuff with Jar Wobble for yeah. the Public Image and Just the cool. of the Heart. And yeah. uh, I did some stuff with a pop group called Saint Etienne as well. Yeah, Before right, which is great. That version of Only Love Can Break Your Heart and Neil Young was yeah, great. Right. So good, Kiss and Makeup. And Tim, you were in Flowered Up too, oh, which was... Indeed, yeah. Which was a band that, uh, you know, was around the time of the Mondays, Roses, yeah, and... We, uh, we were touted as London's Answers to the Happy Mondays at one point, I think. Yeah, and you had that so. hit, It's On, over there, a big yeah. indie hit, which was cool. Yeah, big yeah. club record here in the States. And you did a lot of studio work, right, Todd? You were involved yeah, in... Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't really involved in bands and stuff now, but I come up through the, the um, studio scene. I was working for about ten years or something, and then done a bit of producing and... Made a remix work and stuff, you know. And then you decided you hit it off, you met somewhere and decided yeah, I'm you met this yeah. guy here, yeah. In France. A chance For all meeting. our sins. Yeah. yeah. Some bizarre administ administrative error. Right. I was actually working with a guitar player in the band. I was uh, working on his album in France, and Tim came over and started doing some work on it. Yeah. And that's how we hooked up. And it's cool, and then became a part of the band. And Dave, of course, is in the band as well, Barbarossa. Yeah. He was involved with Adam and the Ants and Bow Wow Wow. Oh, he's done everything, well. he has. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> legendary. It's cool. We'll be talking more with these guys right after the break. And first, we're going to look at the top ten singles this week in America on Alternative Radio. Check it out. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm your host, Matt Pinfield. I'm here with Saffron. Tim and Toddy of Republica. Now, you signed with Deconstruction, which was a label that was known for a lot of dance stuff. I mean, a lot of Italian house records and Black Box actually started out there, which had a big hit. It was like number one hit of the year a few years ago, Right On Time in Britain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here, they didn't have a hit till after that, although mm -hmm. Right On Time was their best song. But um, tell me a bit about that. Was that and was Enjoy originally on Deconstruction yeah, too? Um, Is that how that happened? That's, well, sort of, um, of roundabout, because um, Enjoy had been on Deconstruction. I'd sort of been mates with Pete and Keith. Right. And uh, we got together us three, the Republica, and uh, we took our first demos into them. And um, I'd sort of um, gone to them instead of a big major label because I felt that they were more music people into music and uh, they had some good ideas for the band, you know, and stuff. And uh, basically we wanted to be a live touring band very early on, even though we were writing with electronics, you know. So yeah. we, we really lucked out, you know. On the first demo, literally, they said yes. That's, That's great. Amazing. And it was a change of direction for the, for the label, too, in a way, with some of it, right? I mean, to an extent. 
Yeah. But out of this world and bloke, that was the first thing you did, right? That's that? right, mm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some time ago. <laughs> it, <laughs> they really, stuck with us, yeah. It's about yeah, three they stuck ago, with now. us, really. Which is, uh, they just gave us space to develop and sort of find their own feet, really. Which, but, is, which is rare, I think, these days. Yeah, that's true. I mean, especially what's Very good. trusting of them. Yeah, it's good on a small la label like that. And, and like I said, they've been very successful over the years mm. yeah. since about 1991, which is mm -hmm. really cool. But that's great how you hooked up with them and kind of came full circle again, right, yeah. from all those. Right now, we've got a brand new one from the Heads, who are, as you probably have heard, the members of the Talking Heads, minus lead singer David Byrne. Their debut album is called No Talking, Just Head, and it features a bunch of guest vocalists like Sean Ryder of Black Great, Michael Hutchins of NXS, Ed Kowalczyk of Live, Debbie Harry, and, Mar and, and I'm sorry, Maria McKee. I was going to say Maria McKee. Maria McKee, of course. You know, Lone Justice. Cousin to the guy in love. The first clip off the album is for a song called Damage I've Done. It features vocalist Jeanette Napolitano, formerly of Concrete Blonde, now with Pretty and Twisted. Here it is. It's new from the heads on 120 Minutes. <coughs> I'm Matt Pinfield. I'm still talking with Saffron Tim and Toddy of Republica. Uh, how did you come up with the name Republica? Where did you decide on that? Mm. People ask me sometimes, like, what, what are they, where do they get that name? What's the deal? So I wanted to ask you. Well, we had the deal on the table already from deconstruction and uh, we didn't have a name for the band so they couldn't actually like do all the formal paperwork for it so our manager said basically he locked us in his front room and said you're not coming out until you come up with a name so about three and a half hours later we tried names out of hats we tried all sorts of things to come up with a name eventually we, we liked the name republic we just stuck an eye on it basically yeah in the end that point. Well, that's easy. That's a good way to do it. You know, yeah. people look out windows and they. We want to have something to do with a pub as well. <laughs> yeah. It has to have a pub in the middle of it. A pub in it. We wanted to put the pub <laughs> in it somewhere. Yeah, no. So it's a pastime. You worked on Prefab Sprout Records. Yeah, Prefab Sprout Records, like Steve McQueen, Two Wheels Good, which is an amazing record. You worked with Bjork. Yeah. And engineer with Streisand and stuff. And you've all done different things in the past. What did you listen to growing up? That I mean, were there any common bands that you loved a lot, or people that? over the last few years? Um, I th the first band I ever, I ever saw was The Jam at Brighton Centre when I was 13, and Amazing. I was right down the front moshing, which which wasn't moshing those no, pogoing in those yeah. days, and I got pulled out and everything, and I wanted to be Paul Weller from that day on, and then I saw The Clash, and then I wanted to be Joe Strummer, uh, <laughs> and then I saw Susie Banshee, and that was it for yeah. me. Yeah. Right, <laughs> and The cool. Human League, and Cabaret Volto, a lot of le electronic bands, yeah, the 80s, band New Order. Really like. Yeah, really yeah. Are. Great. I was with, like what the, the more dance stuff, and I was in all the Tamla stuff, and then all the house music through the 80s and what have you. Right, like Tamla Motown, yeah. which people in America would know as Motown. Motown. It's kind of over there. The label was Tamla Motown, and over in America it was Motown and Tamla were two different labels. Oh, right. okay. It's pretty interesting how that all came yeah. out through the 60s, yeah, but yeah. and then the whole Northern Soul craze, right? And all yeah, that as well. Brilliant stuff. It's really good. And we stick around because we still have more with Republica coming up. We've got the sneak preview of Soundgarden's new video for Blow Up the Outside World coming up. It's a great song. We're looking forward to seeing that. I'm Matt Pinfield. I'm here with Saffron, Tim, and Toddy of Republica. And uh, let's uh, right now talk a bit about Ready to Go has been a really successful song here in America. And people have been talking about how much fun the sh live shows are and really into the band. Now, the record's actually just coming out in England now. And it's a lot of times it's been years ago where bands like Blondie and there are many others, their records would come out first in Britain, they become successful and then come back to the States. And this is kind of an opposite thing uh, for you. Are you excited about that? Is there some anxiety about the record coming out in Britain this week for you at this mm. point? Um, well, it's certainly some anxiety for us because uh, we're not well known in England really at all. And, um, you know, because we, we're not really part of any scene, we're sort of in the middle of Britpop and dance at the moment over there. So just to come over here has just been brilliant, you know, and uh, on the tour with Gravity Kills and have the mosh pit and girls crowd surfing is like, you just don't get that from where we're from. So, yeah. um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, hopefully yeah. people will be open minded enough to. It's a 50 50 charge, thing, really. Know? Yeah. Because uh, in Britain, I mean, there's people like Bush over here who've come back and like the press don't like them in Britain and this sort of thing, which is, isn't really fair. It's not really justified on any level, but they just like to slag things off because you come back from over here. Right. It's a We're not complaining. Situation. We're not complaining over here. Right? <laughs> right. I mean, you're psyched that you're doing well over here. Oh, oh that's that's incredible. incredible. Yeah. It's brilliant. That's yeah. why we're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> and you're coming back and doing a tour with Love in Reverse. When are you coming back and uh, going to do the second leg of this tour? Um, we're starting November? November the 15th and uh, we're doing a West Coast tour and we're doing some Christmas shows around time Christmas. Oh, that'll be good. We're going to Mexico as well. We're going to Mexico, yeah. yeah. We're like Puerto Tijuana, Rico. or are you going way over? Mm -hmm. Mexico City, I Mexico think. Mexico City. Yeah, yeah record's doing well. And Puerto Rico. Yeah, well, that'll be cool. Be some places you haven't been before, too, which would be kind of fun. It's a bit more cold. Sun. 
Yeah, That's keep you warm for that period. Not have all that uh, crazy rain in Britain. Well, I want to just say thanks for coming by. It's great to have you, and good luck with everything. And, thanks for know, asking us. This is I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm really glad yeah. the uh, the first round of records doing really well. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. And it's cool, you know. So uh, before we go, though, we're going to show everyone the first video from your album. I think it's a good thing to do, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Well, so round it off. Yeah, here we go. Here's ready to go from Republic on 120 minutes. Take care, all right? Thanks. Cheers. Man. Thanks.